Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. 39 year old Drea Michelle announced that she is having a baby with the 22 year old basketball player, Jalen Green. And Drea is getting dragged for filth, y'all. Now, when the Shade Room reposted her announcement, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. This one comment said, I'm 30 and would scream if a 22 year old tried to talk to me. Where is your mama, little boy? Nah, this ain't it, this is disgusting. And I hope us women give her the same energy we gave Marcus Houston. If the tables were turned and it was a 21 year old young woman, we would drag that man from DC to California in these comments. I have four boys, so this irks my soul, but she wanted to come up. But as old folks say, all money ain't good money. As a 23 year old who wouldn't even date a 22 year old, I'm very intrigued at what she sees in him as a 40 year old woman. <laughs> So is she a creep and a groomer or are we gonna keep the same energy because she's a woman? Ain't her man the same age as her son? That's so weird, the F. This man literally going to have a 10 year old child and a 50 year old baby mom. She's 39 with a 22 year old baby daddy. Wow, I'm 32 and I could never mess with a 22 year old. Don't care how much money he got, she's weird as heck for this. Pregnant by a 22 year old when you're pushing 40 is insane. Having a baby by a man the same age as your son is nasty work, but congrats. She ought to be arrested. And there were a lot more comments than that. People were going in on Drea and she deserves it. I mean, Drea is pathetic. The age difference is one thing. And yes, I know older men date younger women all the time. Older women date younger men all the time. It happens, but it still doesn't make it less weird. And it's even weirder that she intentionally got pregnant by him, which is why I call her pathetic. And also she's desperate. She trapped Jalen out of desperation because she knows that she couldn't get a man, a successful man her age. They wouldn't take her seriously. I mean, she's kind of looked at as an industry pass around. And being a hoe has an expiration date. You can only spread your legs so wide and yourself so thin before you get worn out. Andrea has been worn out. And she didn't play the game right at all. If her ultimate goal was to get a man who would take care of her financially, she should have been more intentional with the way she dated. But when she was younger, she wasn't thinking about that. She only wanted to chase famous rappers and athletes and she cared about partying. In fact, I do remember the story when she abandoned her son, Nico, her oldest son. She was actually arrested for child endangerment and she left him alone for several nights. He only had frozen food to eat and the house was dirty. Meanwhile, she was too busy partying and getting her back blown out by Chris Brown. So her priorities were all messed up and she was living a fast life, but she did try to slow down a little bit and she was in a relationship with the NFL player Orlando Sandrick and she had a son with him named Drew and Orlando actually proposed to her. It was reported that he proposed to her with a $400,000 engagement ring. But their relationship was toxic. Orlando claimed that Drea was very aggressive. She pepper sprayed him, threw candles at him, and even threatened to bleach his eyes. And he had to get a restraining order against her. And it was rumored that he cheated on her. And there was just a lot going on. The relationship was very up and down. Andrea then moved on and started dating another NFL player named Tyrod Taylor. When that didn't work out, she linked up with Diddy of all people, allegedly. But as time went on, it started to become harder and harder for Drea to find somebody who could take her seriously. Most successful men her age wouldn't take her seriously at all because of her track record. So Drea's last resort was to get with a 22 year old basketball player named Jalen Green. Jalen has money, he's still young in his career, so he will be playing basketball for a while. So Drea saw him as a lick and she's like, shoot, let me trap him. And that's exactly what she did. She trapped him with a baby and he will have to pay child support for the next 18 years. So this was Drea's last resort and it's pathetic. It was very pathetic of her to go this route and pick up a man who's much younger than her. And I know Jalen is of age, but still he's half Drea's age. And also he's the same age as her son, not to mention He's the ex-boyfriend of Bria Hicks and Bria used to be cool with Drea. In fact, T-Snipers pointed out that Drea watched Bria grow up. 
They said in their comments, I can't get over how Dre Michelle was all in Bria Hicks house and watched her grow up only to start dating that young girl ex-boyfriend Jalen Green. Shake my head, Drea is dead wrong. She should be dating someone her own age, let alone this girl work for you. You knew her mother and was all under her picks. Hashtag dirty work. Hashtag now Bria Hicks, you should date Drea's son. <laughs> I mean, this is so embarrassing, so embarrassing. I think Drea got pregnant out of desperation because she realized that if she wanted to be financially secure for the rest of her life, she had to go for somebody younger and dumber. And Jalen is definitely that, young and dumb. And also he's cute and rich too. So he's an easy prey for women like Drea. And in his mind, he probably thinks it's a flex that Drea Michelle is having his baby, but he doesn't realize that he's being used. And make no mistake about it, he is grown enough to know better, but I do feel a little sorry for him because he's just too naive to understand the type of woman Drea is. Women like Drea use men for a come up. This is what they do. They scout athletes, they scout rappers and singers, and they try to attach themselves to any guy who has some type of status, some money, and find out how to use them. And see, Drea knows that her options aren't the same. She can't pull these type of tricks on a successful man in her age bracket. So she had to go younger. This was her only option. And she's not the only one who's doing this. Brittany Renner did it too. She trapped the NBA player PJ Washington with a baby and Brittany was six years older than him, which is not really a big deal when you compare it to the age difference between Drea and Jalen. She was 26 and he was 20, but he was still younger and he was still usable. And Brittany was on the hunt to take advantage of a young naive baller. She claimed she wasn't with him for money, but she knew PJ had a bright future ahead of him and he was gonna go to the NBA. So she trapped him. The worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms really. So if y'all really wanna try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just f an athlete, they're really dumb. Also, Joy Chavez is another one who I feel is like Drea. She was trying to find a come up too. She was linking with the rappers and the ballers. She has babies with Bow Wow and Future. She was even dating Diddy at one point. And now she's dating the NFL player Trayvon Diggs, who is 10 years younger than her. Joy is 34 and Trayvon is 24. And he's definitely spoiling her. He's splurging and buying her expensive gifts like a Rolls Royce. So she's getting what she wants out of the relationship and that is money, financial security. And she had to go for somebody younger because she too was out of options. She's dated enough rappers and she had to lay on her back for Diddy to throw money her way. And who knows what she had to do to get that bag. And at one point she thought she was gonna hit the jackpot with her daughter, but her daughter didn't wanna be in the spotlight and Joy was upset about that because her daughter was gonna be her cash cow. She was gonna give her the lifestyle that she wanted without having to compromise herself for the likes of Diddy. And she complained about her daughter not wanting to create content and work. I don't know, she just does not like being recorded. She's just like, mom, stop, mom, 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 stop. Every time I have to like sneak into it, and even when I sneak into it, she gets so mad. She's just like, no, I look crazy. Like, no, I look crazy, my hair needs to be done. And then when her hair is done, she's like, mom, stop. <laughs> I'm like, what's the problem? She's like, I just don't want to be recorded. Like, I don't want to do that. And I don't want to act either. And I was like, okay, like, we're not even talking about acting. I don't want to do it. And I feel like you and my dad are trying to pressure me into like acting and all this stuff. And I don't want to do it. Like, I just want to be a kid. I just want to go to school. And like, I just want to like, you know, be a kid and play sports and have friends. And like that, I just want to be a kid. Baby girl. In my head, I'm like, girl, you're 12, you're so talented and so beautiful and you could really be out here getting to the bag at 12. But okay, I get it. I'm not, I'm not gonna pressure her. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not gonna pressure you. That's not what you wanna do and you don't have to do it. But you guys, I don't know. Try to like comment or something, knock some sense into her. Even the last TikTok we did, we did like the TikTok that was like, um, let me see you do it right do it left do it right do it left do it 
it was so fun but i literally had to beg her do you see her face she looks so annoyed at me the whole time i was like wait well, i hope somebody doesn't realize like she did not want to do this <laughs> she's like mm, i don't want to do that i'm just like but you taught me the dance like let's do it mm, yeah i taught it to you for fun but not for us to like be posting it and stuff i'm like shy <laughs> So after Joy realized that she couldn't use her daughter for a financial come up, she decided to find someone else and she found someone younger and a little bit more naive, similar to how Drea found Jalen. And I'm not trying to shame these women. I know it sounds like I'm shaming them, <laughs> but I noticed there's a sense of desperation amongst women like Drea. They get older, make bad decisions, mismanage their dating life, have multiple children by different men, and they wake up one day and they realize that they don't have the options they used to have. This is why it's important for young women to date with intention, especially hypergamous women, women who want to date men of a higher status financially. They have to date smart. They have to move like somebody like Sabrina Elba. They have to carry themselves a certain way to attract a man who is of high caliber. Also, they shouldn't be too accessible and shouldn't be seen with every hot rapper or every new athlete on the scene. Lastly, they shouldn't be out here having babies with multiple guys. It will end up affecting their dating options moving forward. But anyway, tell what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.